Hello everyone. Today is January 14th, 2021. My name is Glenn Hall, and this is a short addendum to my Mystery of the Beast series. Yesterday, the accuser was able to get his minions to impeach President Trump for a second time. Basically, what we're seeing here again is Donald Trump being mortally wounded here for how many times? How many times has it seemed as if he is wounded unto death? And with only six days left, actually yesterday, seven days left until Biden supposedly will be inaugurated, the House of Representatives in Congress decides to impeach President Trump again for insurrection that they themselves caused by having Antifa come to the Capitol building and having prearranged for the Capitol Police to allow them to come in. We are watching the most amazing series of events in world history. We are witnessing the transition of the government of Satan to the government of God. I want to say this because what we're seeing is the unfolding of Revelation 13, 17, 18, and ultimately 19. Revelation 13, And I saw a beast rising out of the sea with ten horns and seven heads, with ten diadems on its horns, and blasphemous names on its heads. And the beast that I saw was like a leopard, its feet were like a bear's, and its mouth was like a lion's mouth. This is describing all of the beasts that Daniel saw all the way back in his book that was written 600 years before Christ. And to it the dragon gave his power and his throne and great authority. One of its heads seemed to have a mortal wound. One of its heads, one of its seven heads seemed to have a mortal wound. And if you will go back and listen to my previous videos, you will find out that this head that's being described here is the eighth head, which is described in Revelation chapter 17. So its eighth head seemed to have a mortal wound, but its mortal wound was healed, and the whole earth marveled as they followed the beast. And they worshiped the dragon, for he had given his authority to the beast. And they worshiped the beast, saying, Who is like the beast, and who can fight against it? We are witnessing today the transition of government from the dominion of Satan to the dominion of Christ. make something clear. I do not worship Donald Trump, but there are going to be a lot of people who will worship Donald Trump after he comes into power again. Verse 4 of chapter 13 of Revelation, and they worshiped the dragon for he had given his authority to the beast and they worshiped the beast saying, who is like the beast and who can fight against it? I've described in previous videos that what we're seeing with Donald Trump is the division of Satan's kingdom. The part of Satan's kingdom that is following Donald Trump right now are the New Age believers who believe, really believe that they're doing right, that they're following the light of Christ but they're, they're following deceptive spirits. They're channeling spirits. With many of them, there is not a discernment of spirits. Some of them are going off into uh, extraterrestrial sex, if you can believe that. The strangeness is unbelievable of where God has taken me to in, in the last few months. 
But what I see is that there are going to be a huge number of very religious zealots worshiping Donald Trump, believing that he is the I don't know if the Christ uh, is the right thing to say. I don't know that, I'm not saying that Donald Trump is the Antichrist. My, let me tell you my hope. Revelation 19 describes the marriage supper of the Lamb. And right after that, you see the, the Lord returning with his armies in white, with a great sword coming from his mouth, which is the sword of the Spirit, which is the Word of God. And immediately he comes and he defeats this eighth beast and his false prophet and throws them into the lake of fire. Time works backwards. Somewhere I've heard that, C.S. Lewis, I think. And I'm hearing things these days concerning timelines and time loops. Things that make no sense to me. In the natural, they just don't make sense to me. I haven't seen these things that some of the um, New Age believers and even some Christians say that they see concerning... um, concerning second heaven, timelines, time loops, uh, extraterrestrials, different entities. But let me tell you what my hope is. Time works backwards. My prayer is that God will, by his word, radically convert Donald Trump to faith in Jesus Christ, as well as all of these New Age believers who believe that they're doing right. And I commend them for wanting to do righteousness. And many of them do talk about wanting to do righteousness, about doing no evil to anyone or anything. And because of of that belief, a lot of these will not even eat meat because they believe that animals are sentient beings and that to eat an animal is to do harm to them and therefore would be a sin for them. My prayer is that we will see Donald Trump prevail in this fight against good this fight against evil by good. That we will see Donald Trump filled with the Holy Spirit, walking in the Spirit, and that we will see those who have followed him but have not yet known Jesus Christ as Lord come into that knowledge, that revelation, that salvation. I do not have faith for a bloodbath in this world. I do not have faith for a mark of the beast that wipes out many people who are not able to stand during great tribulation. The truth is that we have been, the world has been in great tribulation for millennia, for thousands of years. The time for tribulation has come to an end. In the name of Jesus, I declare that the time of tribulation has come to an end. That it is time for the kingdom of God to become manifest. That it is time for the overcomers. It is time for the Kodeshim to be glorified. To walk in perfection without sin, and with the power of God, with the power, with the judgment, and with the mercy of God.
That is the time. That's the time we're in. So once again, I've done this video as a timeline marker. Donald Trump appears to be mortally wounded. And believe me, if in fact Donald Trump does not prevail, he will not survive in the flesh because these minions of Satan want to kill him. And they have wanted to kill him from the beginning, from over four years ago. When you look at the, what has transpired at the Capitol of the United States in the last week, the last eight days, it's as if demons have become manifest through human beings in the Capitol in their loathing of Donald Trump, in their loathing of righteousness, in their loathing of justice, in their loathing of truth. The demonic has become manifest through the minions of Satan. And it's time for this to end. Join with me. Join with me in prayer that this now will end, that the kingdom of God will become manifest that even those who have been deceived by lying spirits, lying spirits of Kundalini, Kabbalah, and many other shamanic practices will be set free and come into the truth of Jesus Christ. May it be.